Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 34th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Actually, today is a special day in the church. We call it the Feast of Christ the King. This is the last Sunday before we begin our four weeks of Advent, when we prepare for the coming of Jesus at Christmas. Now, if we remember from last week's gospel that Miss Pam told us about, Jesus told his followers a parable, and it was the parable of the 10 talents or the 10 coins. His story was about three servants who were given coins. Two of the servants used those coins and they were re rewarded. The third servant buried his coins and he was punished. These coins are like the gifts or talents that we have been given by God. God does not want us to bury our coins. He does not want us to bury our talents and not use them. God wants us to use the gifts he has given us. And more importantly, he wants us to use our gifts to help others, especially those people that are in need. And so in today's gospel, we're going to hear about another parable that Jesus told his followers, the parable of the sheep and the goats. He tells about a shepherd who returns to his flock and divides it into two groups, the sheep on one side and the goats on the other side. And like last week's parable, we will see that one group is rewarded and the other group is punished. And so Adeline is going to do our opening prayer today. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, the Good Shepherd, you love, care for, and protect us. Help us to show our love for you by caring for one another. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so today's gospel is from the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 31 through 46. And so we're going to listen now. Jesus often taught with parables. Those are stories that teach us something about ourselves, like the parable of the sheep and the goats. I don't get it. What do sheep and goats have to do with us? Well, it might help if you understand more about them. First, take sheep. Sheep can't really live on their own. They need a shepherd, and they know how much they need him. So they follow the shepherd closely, and they do what the shepherd says to do. Aww, cute little sheep. Right. Then you have the goats. Goats are stubborn. They do things their own way. They eat anything, even trash. They don't know how much they need the shepherd, so they don't always follow him. Bad, bad goats. Exactly. So Jesus tells about a king who went away, but then the king comes back in glory with all the angels to sit on his throne. Like Jesus. Jesus is coming back. Right! Jesus was telling a true story about himself. He is coming back, and when he does, he will separate people like a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. Some people will go on his right. Those people are like good sheep? Yes. Jesus will say to the people on his right, Hey, I know you. Come into my kingdom. When I was hungry, you fed me. When I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. And when I was a stranger, you invited me into your home. When I was in prison, you visited me. Wow, they've been busy. When did they do all those things? Jesus said when they did those things for the least of these, they were actually doing it for him. Wait, the least of these? What's that supposed to mean? It means everyone matters to God, and their needs matter to him too, even if they can't do anything for you in return or even pay you back. So helping them is like helping Jesus in disguise? Yep, exactly. Then Jesus will talk to the people on his left. Jesus will tell them to go away. Because when he was hungry, they didn't feed him. And when he was thirsty, they didn't give him anything to drink. And when he needed a place to stay, they didn't invite him in. And when he was in prison, they didn't visit. Wait, why would anyone not help Jesus? Hey, I think I see where this is going. Does that mean those people on Jesus' left didn't help others who couldn't pay them back? They probably did things their own way, like goats. Right. Jesus said when they ignored the needs of the least of these, They ignored him. So if we want to do something great for Jesus, We should do something great for people in need and care for them like Jesus does. After all, he's the shepherd. I'm the sheep. I'm the sheep. I'm the sheep. I'm the sheep. 
I'm the Jesus often taught with parables. All right, here we go. There we go. So the parable that Jesus told in today's gospel is about how Jesus will gather his followers before they enter into heaven. And like the shepherd gathered his flock and divided his flock into the sheep on one side and the goats on the other, Jesus' followers will be divided into those who have treated others kindly and generously and the others that have been unkind. So if we remember, Jesus told that the one group of followers that he said to them that when he was hungry, they gave him food. When he was thirsty, they gave him drink. He tells them that they took care of him when he was sick and they welcomed him when he was a stranger. These followers would be rewarded one day by being with Jesus forever in heaven. But the people were really confused because they didn't remember doing any of those things for Jesus. And what he told them is one of the most important lessons in the whole Bible. He explains that when we do these things for the least of these, meaning others who really need them, when we feed the hungry, when we take care of the sick, when we do good things for other people here on earth, we're actually doing those things for Jesus. The other group of followers, they would be punished and they would not be with Jesus in heaven because they had done none of these things. They were also very confused because they did not remember when they had treated Jesus poorly, but Jesus told them when they, they did not give food to the hungry, and when they did not give drink to the thirsty, when they did not help the sick or the lonely, and when they were unwelcoming to strangers, it was like they were doing that to him. When they had refused to help those that were most in need, they were refusing to help Jesus. And so today's message in the gospel is Jesus telling us that he is in all people. So when we help others or when we are unkind to others, it's like we were doing the same to Jesus. So the shepherd had separated his flock into the sheep and the goats. The sheep represent those people that are generous, open-hearted and willing to give to others. And the goats, well, that side represents the people that are unwilling to give or to spend or to help others, especially when they aren't able to pay back. So now if we were gathered together at church, I might put a picture of a sheep on one side of the board and a goat on the other and ask you for examples of things that we might do that are sheep-like and other things that we might do that are goat-like. But unfortunately, we can't all gather together. So we're gonna to try to do something like that, but here on our video. And so what can we do that is sheep-like? Well, we can share a snack with a hungry friend or visit a relative who is sick, but maybe not during these times. We can give an old jacket to a thrift store or give food to the local food drive or write a letter or card to someone who might be lonely. And other things that we might do that are not sheep-like, but rather goat-like, if we ignore a friend who is sad or if we walk past a child who has dropped their books without helping them. Not saying hello to a new child at school or church. If we drop trash on the ground, or if we throw out extra food in our lunch when we have a friend who might be hungry. So I know that if we had all been together, you would have done a great job telling me examples of things that would be loving and generous behaviors and examples of behaviors that are kind. And today, what we want to remember is all of those things that we can do to be like sheep. We want to remember that the lesson from today is that Jesus is in every single person. He's in our friends and our enemies, in the rich and the poor, the sick and the healthy and the lonely. And we must treat everyone as Jesus wanted us to. So we have a craft that you can do to help you remember today's gospel and remind us to be like Jesus is sheep. So what you will need to do is to trace your hand on a piece of black paper and then cut out your handprint. 
Then you're going to glue cotton balls on the palm part of the hand, leaving the fingers to be the legs of your sheep. And then you can draw a face on your sheep. And then glue your sheep onto another piece of paper and on the top write, I want to be a sheep. And around that, you can write down all kinds of things that you can do to be a good follower of Jesus, to be like Jesus's sheep. And we're going to finish with a song. So let's listen. <laughs> prayer. Let's just go back here a minute for our closing prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of all, show us how to answer your call so, many, so we may see your kingdom here on earth. A place where no one is hungry, thirsty, or alone. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. And two quick reminders before we finish. As Ms. Pam said last week, feel free to send in your crafts or drawings to the church and then we can display them in future children's liturgy lessons. And Advent bags will be available for those who would like to have one. They are free of charge and they will be sanitized and sealed for your safety. If you would like one, ask a parent or adult to contact the church to let us know. Have a good week. We hope to see you next week. Stay well and God bless you and your family. Bye-bye.